My feet's still on, I'm just curious. Great, okay guys, yeah, just kinda curious with your, your opinions on success rate before I start, because this is gonna be an important um, reason which leads to what I'm gonna talk about. Yeah guys, unfortunately you want, everybody wants to open the Canada, I've been trying to help someone to open Canada stuff, but no broker is able to do it, you know? Um, you have to have a presence over there, so it's really difficult. So. I'm great. It's great to hear that you guys are using it, and so far everything's good at Success Story, guys. Oh, don't we talk about center point? Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I posted so so yesterday. You know, we, we nailed a couple plays. Uh, like pick pick p i k was a great one yesterday. That was restricted at some brokers, but not at Success Trader. And we had the low case for ridiculously cheap compared to. Uh, other brokers like I don't want to talk about the initials, but CP was twenty five cents a share. I think someone said, so it's crazy, man. So, um, pretty much, you know, people, these places. I'm telling you guys, be be careful about places that 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 shows you giant prices on locates and then gives you a big discount. You know, we I hate those kind of things because I'm like, okay, if if I'm getting fifty percent off. Uh, are other people getting seventy percent off? So you get into this kind of mind fuck game where you're like, "Am I getting a good rate or am I getting screwed?" And you imagine if I don't get this fifty percent off, um, is someone else getting so so incredibly ripped off? So you know, I don't like that kind of thing because imagine if we 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 partner up the broker that played these kinds of discounting bullshit kind of games. It, it feel really sketchy, man. I wouldn't want someone to pay twenty five cents a share for a locate, and then when I'm paying, everybody else is paying like ten cents, five cents, three cents. So you know what I'm saying? The discounting game is like it. It, it sounds good in the beginning because it seems like you're getting a big deal, but if they're giving you fifty percent off, thirty percent off, can you imagine they're giving other people what their other people are getting, or the people that don't have these discounts are getting ridiculously ripped off, right? So, I mean, so what I trade, dude, I don't want to fucking figure out. <laughs> what kind of percentages I'm getting off. I was like, dude, you need the best rates and don't fuck around. Don't screw around with anybody, right? So so that's why uh, we, we love success trader. We love success trader because in my opinion, they don't play games like the other guys. The pricing is what it is. Um, everybody gets that pricing for the locates and there are five drop down sources, not just one. So you get to choose, guys. So when, when there's just one of anything, guys, you know that there's something going on. So, but anyways... Uh, getting to the point of how much do you really need to day trade, guys. So the problem is this, man. You know, I've been very active on Twitter for so long regarding pattern day trader. So the only thing that's stopping the USA guys from trading, in my opinion, you know, back in the day, man, there's, there's like people pumping up and all this stuff. You can have a thousand bucks and trade as much as you want and go broke if you want, you know. But then uh, after the, the Bernie Madoff, the Wolf of Wall Street, all that stuff, they they basically said, hey, guys. Uh, you go. You are too dumb to trade on your own. You are too dumb to trade on your own. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put a rule on you that says a, a arbitrary rule. And this rule was created long ago where you needed at least twenty five thousand dollars in order to make to day trade. And they consider day trading anything more than three round trips a week. And these are all arbitrary numbers, guys. All arbitrary. The, imagine you go into the casino and they say you need twenty five thousand before you play blackjack. If you don't, you're going to play three hands of blackjack and get the fuck out, <laughs> right? That's because the more market participants, the, the harder it is for them to rig the system. Harder it is for market makers, banks, institutions to set prices or arbitrary prices because the demand keeps the market clean. That's capitalism. Capitalism is supposed to be free markets, right? It's supposed to be free markets, but for some reason, the... Why can't I participate in the stock market? Which is the the sole reason, one of the sole reasons why these guys are billionaires. Because of stock. It's all stock. And, and you, you wonder yourself, wow, why don't they want me to participate? That's because they want you to put all your money in 401k, shut the hell up, put in index funds, and let them control your money. And that's the reason, in my opinion, why they're doing this, right guys? There's no reason that casinos are letting you go broke. If they really can, if they are, if the government is really concerned about saving your money, they would not let you do casinos. They would say you need 25 grand to freaking play blackjack. Why trade? Trading is not gambling, guys. If done correctly, trading is not gambling. We've proven that. Alice and I have been proving that for so long now. 
the people at MIC, the members at MIC, we, we, we have proven that trading is not gambling if done correctly. And so how much do you really need a day trade? Obviously, the more, the better. Okay? The only reason you need over 25000 is because of the government. Okay? But, but don't, don't despair, guys. Don't despair. What you can do is this. So I advise people all the time. I was very fortunate to, to uh, have started trading before the pattern day trader rules. I was able to put 20 grand in, whether, it, whether it's five grand, it still be okay. But when I did that, guys, I became a degenerate. I lost a lot of money when I started trading because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I thought trading was gambling, okay? And so, so I, I, whatever little money I put in, I would be gone. Because you know what, man? When you put in five grand, three, 3,000, 2,000, you don't expect to get money back. It, you treat that little amount of money as if it is a lottery play. And so if you think of that, a, that amount as insignificant to your overall success, then you're gonna lose all your money. So a good thing is imagine now the order to get to day trade, you need at least 25. So brokers take 30 because it's a cushion. They don't want you to like go under PDT all the time. So now you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna treat it seriously because $30,000 is a lot of money. I don't wanna lose all my money. And so the people that are able to raise up that funds, save your money and be able to deposit $30,000, you're going to treat trading more seriously as if uh, compared to a guy that only has $200 in the account, YOLO all in and holding, right guys? So, so in my opinion, if you are under PDT, there's a couple things you can do. You can split up your account into multiple different accounts. Uh, you can have one at each broker, right? So now each account you have, so let's say you have 5,000 bucks, split them into two accounts or three accounts. And now you have three trades for each account. That's one way to get over it. But one good thing is I'm waiting for Tom, <laughs> Tom Diesel to break his milestone because uh, he was fortunate to live in, in Europe. So there was no BDT. He had literally had $500 in his account. And I think he's approaching the, <laughs> the million dollar mark right now, guys. It's a fucking incredible story. You know, that's all it takes. All it takes is one trade at a time. It adds over time. It's, it's did not do this overnight. This is years. I met him. I met him when we, you know, he's one of the first members of MIC. And it's been like four years. So it's like four years. It took him four years to be overnight success, right? That's what we always say, right? Alex, it took Alex like four or five years to become overnight success. So um, so how much you really need, guys? It depends on you. There's trading style, whatever it is. Uh, we, Me and Alex, Alex and I keep a, more, a small amount in our account because I, I really don't have self-control. So I don't stop out as much as I should have. So, so before I learn about this, I'm going to tell you the reason why we, I, we put small money in our account because we don't trust ourselves. Me, especially. I mean, I like wake up one day, and, you know, I, I get drunk, whatever the hell it may be. I fight with a girlfriend. I just go crazy. And so at least the most I can lose is whatever I put in my account. Uh, I mean, I used to trade with like 4 million bucks in my account and I've done, but I was more disciplined back then. Cause you know, like, I'm trying, so back then I was like, but now I've made it, made it, whatever. I really don't care anymore. Um, my, my, my passion now is more for education, helping you guys get there. And so I don't really need $4 million in my account. So I take that money out and I moved it to real estate, whatever the hell it may be. Right guys. So, and this is a while back. So, I mean, I don't need much money to trade because my trading style doesn't require me to trade Tesla. If I'm trading Tesla every day, yeah, I wouldn't need fucking tons of money. Um, but I'm not. And so. Whatever I put in there, I can afford to lose. But the problem is this, you need $30,000 just to start day trading freely, actively, and for, for most people, 30,000 is a lot. You don't wanna lose 30,000, right? You're not like fucking Alex where $30,000 is like the locate fee for the day, right? So we always say, so we partner with a broker that, that lets you, do max daily loss by the ticker auto liquidation. And there's even a screen that we posted. I posted somewhere in MIC. You guys know what MIC knows about this. And so, so now you can put thirty thousand dollars in. And not be scared, you guys. It's, you put a fence. So whatever max daily loss by ticker, it will auto stop for you and auto liquidate. So you are safe. So so now we can put bigger amounts of money into our co account and not be scared, because we know I even at my worst. So something happened, <laughs> I get kidnapped, and then, and then the, the terrorists are telling me, buy all your money into this stock, 
and then pump it up for me. <laughs> but they, they can't because you know the, the max daily loss auto liquidation by the broker will save me when a terrorist kidnaps me or hacks into my account and tries to break my account, guys. So I know that even if I put in my life savings or for you guys, let's say like some people's life savings are 30000 that you are protected because you put a fence around that and show you're not scared anymore, guys. So how much you really need to day trade? Some people, even if I give you a million dollars, you'll lose all of it. Other people that like Tom Diesel, 500 bucks is what he did. I think it was $700 he started with. $700, um, 100 at a time, 50 bucks at a time, you know, you have, so being under paid, uh, PDT, you have three trades a week per account. So it helps you to focus where you don't just start randomly clicking buttons because, because now those bullets, those bullets mean something because you can't trade until the next week. So, you know, split your account up. Uh, and during that time when you're learning, guys, save. If trading is really for you, save your money, man. Stop going to the club. Stop buying a nice. This hat cost me forty five dollars. Forty five bucks is pretty nice, though. Right? Another twelve bucks for the engraving. So if you're really hard for for cash, don't buy a hat. L live your life. Walk around with ugly, unfixed hair. <laughs> save money don't go to the, don't go get a haircut whatever it takes to save your money guys okay um because this so so having there's you know having not enough money to trade is not a bad thing it will help you determine whether or not this is something you want to really do and sacrifice so everything that that it took for you to save that thirty thousand dollars you know, it's going to be worth it. By the time you save $30,000, you are you are not going to want to throw it away because it took you a long time. You will appreciate it a lot more, okay? If someone just gives you that money, you would blow it away. And also, to be honest, guys, I, I have guys that have like $200 and they want to to trade and they, they $200, guys, use that for education. Save that for education. Um, you're not going to become rich with 200 bucks. You're not Tom Diesel. I'm sorry. I, we, we have success stories like that at MIC. Um, all of us, Alex too, been success story. But it's rare that someone that has a $200 account, $500 account, this small account challenge bullshit you see online is all fake. Don't follow those guys. It's all bullshit. Um, you can't do what they do because what they do is they pump and then they dump. They're the first in and the first out. So, of course, they would always win if they want to because they were the first person dumping, right, guys? So, um, and I'm telling you, edu education is where it all starts. I didn't have money growing up, whatever, but I, whatever money my parents had, they invested in my education. And knock on wood, it paid off. I was able to get a good job, um, you know, which led me to whatever opportunities I have in life. So, education, and the thing is, education now is super expensive. So, we, we, the education with MIC seems like a lot of money, but it's actually not, guys. Compared to college, uh, college will charge you more than that per quarter, per semester. So the problem is people think that day trading is gambling. If you think day trading is gambling, you will lose your money. If you think, if you, but I just had this discussion with my girlfriend the other day. The same exact thing. She thinks day trading is gambling. I'm like, then why does Goldman Sachs make all the money? Why? So you, you, you basically... If day trading was gambling, it, it, there would not the people that keep making money keep making money. That that means it's not gambling, guys. Okay, uh, I mean, dude, I've, I've I've proven that during the course of a year, only have less than twelve days of red, two hundred fifty days a year of trading, and it's like, dude, it, that's not gambling. The the problem with trading is this: you can make you can make very e easily money easily every day. But it depends on how much you want to make. If you make 100 bucks, you want 200 bucks. You make 200 bucks, you want 500 bucks. It never, ever ends. So it's up to you. So this is why having a smaller account is actually a good thing, guys. It's controlling your, your animal instincts and being disciplined to actually trade properly until you save the money to do what, what, you, what you need to do. So don't, don't, don't despair, guys. Or I'll give you a couple ideas. Why don't you guys, if each of you had 5,000 bucks, find six guys, five other guys, Pull your money in. Pull your money together to open an account. And that becomes a trading accountability buddy account. So all of you guys become now have to be consensus, have a consensus before you trade. So because you are sharing an account with five other people, 
You know, you basically, this is how prop trading works. This is how Goldman Sachs trades. They're all trading the firm's money. Right, guys? There's a person that you, that is overseeing it, the risk compliance officer. You're not trading alone. If you're trading someone else's money, you're not trading alone. And and because of the fact that other people are watching over their trade and making sure that they don't do stupid things and, and keep to the rules, those guys become more successful because they're not doing whatever they want to do. So I'm giving you guys ideas here on how to make it happen. Tom Diesel drove an Uber at night, saved up at night because he told me uh, you get more money driving a car at night than in the morning. So he, he did that and uh, he did that for like two years, man. And he built his account and then, oh my God, during that time it clicked because he was forced to not over trade. If you don't have enough money, you're not gonna over trade. If you got too much money, <laughs> excess is bad. When I was in New York, when I was a young kid, the only reason that I went home to go to work because I ran out of money. <laughs> I couldn't kill myself because I ran out of the funds in order for me to kill myself. But if you imagine, it's like now, if I don't have responsibilities such as MIC, my family, I might just never need to ever wake up in life and do anything except just kill myself, right? So same thing with trading, guys. You know, you, you, it's it's level up properly and you'll get there. So let me take a couple of questions, guys. You guys will have any questions. Um, you actually don't need any money to day trade. First thing step is to learn. First step is to learn how to day trade, guys. Education. As I keep telling people this all the time. You don't have to be a day trader, but learning about stocks helps you with everything in life. Because the stock market, now you can talk to people about it. You understand what's going on. You control your own, your own IRA account, 401k account, all that. So you're not scared. Okay, the system wants you to give all their money to the system and let them handle it. And you're at their mercy, guys. Will a success trader match my current commission if I switch over to that? These are broker questions that you must. What are you paying? Just curious. What are you guys paying for commission right now? Uh, I wake up an hour and a half before the market opens, 4.30, 5 o'clock. Um, Alex wakes up much earlier because he's on the East Coast. So I use an hour and a half to plan my trades. So hit up the broker, guys, for broker questions. I just care. Oh, 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 two. Well, oh, oh, two is what they uh, they give up the, out to the MIC guys. So your rates are matched, okay? Uh, Kappa God. Um, that is what MIC has partnered up and agreed that if you call them up to open an account and you say that you're part of my investment club, that you will receive 002. Two, what's that, 20 mils or two mils or something? Yeah, commission. Is that 20 mil? Uh, yes, 20 mil commission. 002. That is what we. Wow, you're. Uh, well, the thing is, remember, uh, depends on if you're. What kind of. Uh, if, if you're in USA, you're guaranteed to have that. Uh, you if you're if you're in uh, within um, USA, it's very easy to open an account. You go online, there's a whole step. But if you're international, email them guys, email them or call them on the phone and ask them, uh, do they accept your country? Because international is a different type of beast, and I, I don't know anything about that. Um, they accept LLCs, anything like that as well. You uh, all these questions, the scaling, all that kind of stuff, guys. We have videos on it. Uh, have you guys watched any of the videos? So go back to watching the, one of the videos. Just just watch the videos, and then you'll you'll it's in the videos. But what, so I'm, I'm going to tell you something that no one that people don't understand. Um, I'll give you a secret, guys. But the guys that are watching here, there's two hundred, there's two hundred something guys watching. Um, there is a trading fish video that we released for free way back in the day on the YouTube channel. That that is ridiculously good. This this is better than any DVD you have. And we released it for free. It's like over an hour. People look at like an hour. They don't want to watch it. But dude, it shows you how to scale. It shows you um, the lines. It shows you the strategies. And these strategies are the same basis for all of our teachings. So uh, you guys have a treat today by going. So please click like like all these videos that you watch. It helps us um, to. It helps us tremendously because the, the YouTube algos and stuff will pick it up and hopefully our videos would drown out the furus. Okay, uh, there's so many misinformation out there, guys. There's so many people that don't know what the hell they're doing, pretending to, to be teachers. 
everybody right now with a freaking cell phone can become a YouTube channel uh, influencer in trading <laughs> and then learn all this wrong stuff, right, guys? So, so yep, Alex, they have the Trading Fish, you're looking at the Trading Fish uh, Academy. And we, I can't believe we released that, guys, but uh, that was um, our tribute. Like when we started out, this is like the beginning, of the, the first year of MIC, guys. It's a really out, people think it's an old, outdated video, but dude, trading has been the same forever, guys. Support resistance, uh, the strategies, all that has been explained. So, any other questions, guys? And once again, we, we partner up with a new partner for a reason. They are, you know, they're responsive. So, let me ask you guys right now. I mean, any issues that come up, guys? I mean, I can't handle it. I'm not the broker. Alex is not the broker. But we have a, in, in our room, we have a broker liaison person that helps navigate and gets the questions. And he will submit the questions uh, to the broker. So basically, it's great. You basically now have a customer service re representative on working on your side. Okay. We are not the broker. All this is basically, we are helping you reach the broker. Imagine how many times you call Ameritrade. You call up Ameritrade and they don't pick up your phone. They don't know what they're doing. You don't have your, cu or your own customer unless you have millions of dollars in the bank. But now, if you have an account as a success trader, you are treated as if you are VIP. So that's why I love about them. Um, they're very responsive. Uh, things go wrong on Sunday. I could pick up the phone call and call them. So if you guys are a, a big trader, they call it a whale or whatever, um, you, know, that you can actually have a phone number like I do, like Alex does, that calls the freaking like, like the, the boss there, right? And the boss will freaking on Sunday pick up the phone for you. Because a lot of, you know, it's, these are the type of personalized service guys that you don't get anywhere unless you are a giant whale or big trader. But, you know, even a guy with $30,000 account, which is the minimum they ask you to or open, gets treated like a VIP because we, you guys are under, mention my, um, my investing club. MIC, and you'll be put under our kind of like a referral. Um, and then we will help you because it's a group thing, right? It's like the, the power in groups, guys. Because a one voice is not going to do anything. If you complain to Merit Trade, they're not going to do anything. But imagine a thousand people and a complain, a part of a group of Merit Trade. They will listen to you guys. Let me see. Any other questions? And there's a route, guys. I forgot about this, guys. So this is a great thing to learn, how to learn. So when you're paper trading, it does not mimic real life trading because there's no emotions. Uh, the feels are not the same. You know, uh, you want to simulate reality, real life trading as much as you can. But that's expensive. When you place a trade, they are charging you money. It, these are direct access because the routes cost money, commissions cost money, all that, right, guys? Um, Robinhood was the first to come out that says, hey, no commissions, but they, man, but their fields suck. They have no shorts. You, there's very limited. Professionals do not use trade, uh, Robinhood. It, there's no professional out there that uses Robinhood unless you're a pumper holding that thing, buy, sell. I mean, that's, that's not real trading in my opinion, right? And so, it becomes very expensive. But what we had is we told them this, guys. We told like, hey, you have to give out something free. There are no free routes because there's commission-based charging. And, and, so they, and so they worked with us to come up with a – we actually <laughs> – they came up with a route that they called MIC on our behalf because that route gives you rebates. It gives you 0025 and your commission is 002. You're actually making five mils per share. So the person that asked me, will they match my commission? They will match that because that's that's just the standard that the MIC negotiated with them. But the better thing is if you want to day trade, but you're not ready to day trade, so you want to paper trade, now you'd open an account, use the MIC route, and use one share, 100 shares. So it simulates paper trading, but it's real life trading. And you don't have to pay because you're using that MIC route. The route covers... The rebate of the route covers your commission, guys. This is huge. This is a game changer that I don't think anybody be, I, I, that have not seen before. Because other brokers, they charge a minimum ticket. They call it a minimum ticket order. So one share, even one share costs a dollar, etc. right? But here, one share is pretty much free in terms of re, using the route rebate minus commission, guys. So, so those are getting started with trading, guys. This is a great way 
for you to learn. So look them up, Success Trader, and that's what, you know, this, these are the huge, huge advantages that, that Alex and I never had when we started. It was a very expensive thing when we started, man. Uh, rates are, it's a, they, they call it the race to zero. They, meaning like, so, so they make money, other brokers make money in other ways. If they're giving you free shit, they're making money in other ways, right guys? And so, so the people that are not charging commission, how are they making money? They're charging more in low case, whatever. So the, so, so the broker charges you money, but you know, at, you know, I, I don't want them to go to zero because if you go to zero, they will, they will charge you somewhere else. I want them to make money, but not too much that we share, but it, find a way to give back some of the money. So the rebates, they're giving back the rebates to you. 0025. You know, they could have, they could have kept it, but they gave it to you. They gave you back 0025 guys. So, um, any other questions? We, uh, it's been a long time since so we had some sales and stuff. So, I mean, I, I don't really, so call Tosh, hit up Tosh if you're interested in this. If you have questions about trading, about the broker, hit up Tosh. Tosh, give me your number. Uh, the numbers, um, if you forget the phone number, is the text phone number is on the Instagram account. And I'll tell you, man, I mean, so a big advantage yesterday is the fact that the success rate doesn't restrict uh, shorting. You can short whatever that I've not seen for me personally. I might have seen one time they restricted, but they restricted in terms of buying power, not in terms of not letting you. So example, but when AMC was going nuts, a lot of the brokers, even Robinhood says you can't trade her, right? Remember they shut down GME and all that. But so that's uh, let you trade whatever, but they just said you need to trade in cash. You need to put more money in things like that, guys. So, um, is is a place where I'm telling you right now, they're they've been a, they've been around for forty something years. No one ever heard about them before now. Um, they just haven't been. You know, this is why MIC is for right. MIC is to help market this stuff, right? So, um, being a partner just doesn't mean like, hey, I'm gonna pick the highest bidder, whatever. They need to basically provide something that I would use, that Alex would use, that you would use yourself, right, guys? So, um, any other questions, guys? Yeah. Uh, we, we, uh, our partnership with Cobra ended. Um, um, there's no reason to talk bad about anybody. It's just, we found someone that fits us better, that will help our members better for what we do. Am I always 100% confident? It, the, so I'll tell you the, the secret to trading, guys, the secret trading, no one knows what the hell they're doing. I mean, in terms of, I mean, no one knows for sure what a stock would do, 100%. What we can do, know is this. I know how to manage my risk. If the secret is to pre-plan your trade before you become emotional. I don't know with 100% confidence when it comes there because I'm scared. But if I'm sitting around before the market opens, before the stock even gets to that price, I'm going, what is my entry? What is my exit for both a winner and a loser? And stick to it. I'm very confident because it hasn't happened yet. The fear comes all the time when you overthink, when you get, oh my God, what if, what would And so you become emotional. That's why you become, you make mistakes through emotions. So pre-plan all your trades. We call that fantasy orders, guys. The fantasy order is a game changer. Uh, <laughs> I see people copying the term, the, the, the concept of fantasy order. Some guy even made a fucking video talking about fantasy order. Just use the word fantasy order. You copied from me. <laughs> you coming from MIC. So I don't care because eventually everyone's going to start using our strategies because it works uh, just like the zombie rule. Just like the zombie rule, guys. You know, if they first they laugh, now everyone's talking about the zombie rule, 1030. Everyone's shutting down. Um, they talk about fancy orders. They talk about recycling. Those are all us, guys. Uh, Low-hanging low fruit. I see people using low-hanging fruit. They call it the day two, whatever. But that was our bread and butter we taught. Okay, guys? And once again... Confidence comes in doing something repeatedly over and over and gaining success. Doesn't mean 100%. I'm confident that I will make money today. Doesn't mean I'll make money 100%. But over time, I'm confident that I will make money. What is the best coin? MIC coin. Maybe we should start that way. <laughs> Any other questions, guys? I haven't looked at the thing. Let me see. 
wish or <laughs> we call it what you want to call it, right? <laughs> the low hanging fruit is the next one they're doing. Uh, zombie rule. Maybe they'll talk about the uh, <laughs> the vampire rule. <laughs> oh no, man. Um, any other questions, guys? But at first, but in order to trade, guys, you need a brokerage account. It all it's like if you want to box, you can't box without adequate boxing gloves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so how can you compete with Alex? I mean, when you're you're using, I don't want to bad mouth any broker, but Ameritrade, no short locates or other brokers, right? That's what I'm saying. You have to you have to use the tools that the professionals use. And before MIC partnering with all these people, no one knew about who these companies were. Cobra, who they knew who the hell? Who, I didn't even know who hell Cobra was, right? And so now we put Cobra on the map, you know. And then um, now you're gonna hear about Success Trader because you know. It, Nothing, in my opinion, guys, I mean, things change over time. Nothing stays the same. And unless you're adapting to the market, the people, all that, uh, it's, it's a capitalistic environment where, you know, uh, you, there's always a hungrier brokerage out there. And if Success Trader doesn't uh, help us and help our members and help you guys, we may look for another broker, right, guys? So that's the point. The, the point is every time that there is a competition, it's, it's good. And so the latest, the latest in brokerage that you, you hear now is Success Trader. And so they've been building all this stuff out so that they give you the best, you know? So every, so right now, in my opinion, in my opinion, they're the fucking best right now. Because I can use anybody I want, but, some, but, but Alice and I use them for a reason, right guys? So they're the fucking best. Uh, any other questions, guys? It's very simple. Uh, is MIC legit? Ask anybody on the feed. Uh, Alex and I are the only ones go out that go out to do meetups. Uh, we are not afraid to get beat up because we don't scam anybody. Uh, we go on these lives every week, show you what we do, where we live, which is normal people, guys. You see my IG and my personal IG all the time. I'm just a normal guy. You know, um, we go meetups because we're not scared. So that answers a lot of the freaking questions out there, guys. How many other groups do you know that does a meetup as much as MIC? They're afraid because, first of all, it doesn't make people money. It takes a lot of time uh, and security reasons, right? And we partner up with a broker. Do you think a broker would partner up with anybody that's not legitimate? Ask yourself. <laughs> Who do we partner up with? It basically makes us legit because... The brokerages are heavily, heavily regulated. They are, <laughs> they are screaming at Alex and I right now by saying, don't say these words, don't say these words. We're the lawyers, lawyers, right? So, so that's the thing. We are legit as they come. Um, and that's the thing. We can't help everybody, guys. To be honest, we can't help everybody. If you don't like us, you don't like us. I, you know, <laughs> I can't help you. But you know what? We will help the people that, that are interested. So um, MIC, Success Trader, Text. Tosh, that's it. Um, I think we have some. If you watch IG Live, I always tell people at the end of IG Live to get the best deals is to text Tosh right during the, the end of the IG Live or during the IG Live or Alex's YouTube Live, guys. And you guys will get the best deals. So, and then tomorrow is every Wednesday is so Monday. Alex does the, his live on YouTube. I do uh, Instagram tomorrow. Tosh does his. New member webinar, which is a free one on on uh, YouTube live as well. So watch it tomorrow, guys. Uh, those are the times that you can ask these trading questions, like how do you scale all that. Um, IG live and live like this week, it's more like a general um, information thing. So, all right, guys. So we'll see you later. We'll see you online and click like whenever you see a video. It helps us comment. Go to YouTube, comment, click like on whatever and comment because, you know, the more interaction, it is better. And I'm telling you, man, I don't see anybody as hardworking as Alex replying to every single post in our YouTube channel. So help Alex out by going clicking like on the YouTube channel. Write down, you know, your opinions about the video, what you think about the video, how you like it or what can we do better because I... 
Alex will respond to you. I, I mean, he's done this for four years. I'm shocked. He goes to every post and he has to reply. So, you know, thumbs up to Alex, man. Um, so make him happy by let's growing our YouTube channel, guys. Okay. So we'll see you later, man. See you tomorrow at Tosh's webinar.